video, we will talk about a device driver. What is a device driver? Actually, the meaning can be guessed from the word itself. Device driver is something that drives a device. Let's first think what is a device. In most cases, a device means a hardware component installed on your PC, like hard disk, monitor, keyboard, wired LAN card, Wi-Fi card, etc. Then, what does it mean by drive here? Drive means operate or make it work. Hardware is a combination of a bunch of electronic circuits and some mechanical components. Usually, those hardware would not work as expected just by electric power. It requires a special software that make those electronic circuit and mechanical components work as intended. This special software or a set of software is called a device driver. Even though a device driver is not visible to ordinary users, they are working in the background almost always when you are using a computer. Try to look at this illustration. Device drivers are hardware-dependent and operating system-specific. Without drivers, the computer cannot send and receive data correctly to hardware devices. What devices need drivers? Hardware devices that are unknown by the operating system or have features unknown by the operating system all require drivers. Here is a list of hardware devices and peripherals that require drivers. Card reader, sound card, motherboard chipset, scanner, printer, network card, modem, and video card. Then, what devices may not need drivers? Nowadays, operating systems have many generic drivers that allow hardware to work at a basic level without needing driver or software. However, if that device has features unknown to the operating system, it will not work without drivers. For example, you could plug any keyboard into a computer and expect it to work. However, if that keyboard has any special keys or features, they will not work until the drivers are installed. Here are the examples of the devices that may not need drivers. CPU, thumb drive, joystick, keyboard, power supply unit, speakers, heatsink, hard drive, RAM, and monitor. Alright, let us move on to the types of device drivers. Number one is the BIOS driver or the basic input-output system driver. By definition, the most basic computer driver in existence and is designed to be the first program that boots when a PC turns on. The BIOS is stored on memory built into the motherboard and is designed to boot the hardware connected to the PC, including the hard drives, video display output, whether it may be video card or onboard, keyboard, and mouse. The next one is the motherboard drivers. Motherboard drivers are small programs that are read by either Windows or Linux and allow for basic computer functions while inside the operating system. These drivers normally include programs that allow broadband ports, USB ports, and input-output ports for the mouse and keyboard. Depending on the motherboard, the drivers may also have basic drivers for video and audio support. And remember, BIOS are not the same as motherboard drivers. Next on the list are the hardware drivers. Hardware drivers are programs that are designed to allow pieces of computer hardware such as expansion slots to function on a computer. Video cards, sound cards, network cards, and other expansion cards come with driver disks to ease the installation process of the hardware. 
Other devices, like certain kinds of digital cameras and MP3 players, have PC drivers programmed into their software for easy use on most types of personal computers. The last one is the virtual device driver. Virtual device drivers are different than most drivers. Unlike the majority of drivers which allow pieces of hardware to work with a particular operating system, virtual device drivers emulate a piece of hardware and essentially trick the computer into thinking that it is reading from a piece of actual hardware. A particularly popular use for virtual device drivers is with reading ISO files without having an actual disk using one of these drivers to emulate a CD or DVD drive. So, how's that? If you find confusion about the lesson, just feel free to watch the video again. I'll see you next time.